Eric and Will Haza are practicing their serves here at the high school tennis courts. They say at almost 30 years old, the courts are almost unplayable. Right now these courts aren't safe. You know, there's a good amount of cracks in them, so we have a big uh, hurdle to come over here. And you know, I know we've built a lot of nice things in Gorm, but uh, certainly tennis would be uh, a priority at this point. Fixing the courts is just a part of a $12 million bond to make multiple improvements in the Gorham School Department. They are also looking to fix the HVAC system at the elementary school and fix overcrowding at the high school. Space is, is the bottom line uh, at Gorham High School. As the population continues to grow in Gorham, school superintendent Heather Perry says that means more money is needed for the schools to accommodate that growth. It was built or constructed for 750 students. We're in a downward enrollment pattern right now at the high school, and we're at about 810 students, so it's already overpopulated. Uh, and in the next three years, we are uh, projected to go up to 900 students at the high school. This bond measure comes after voters narrowly passed a $53 million school budget earlier this summer that raised property taxes, a concern we heard from residents today. Everything is really expensive right now as far as just cost of living, groceries, etc. So in that aspect, I'm definitely against it. But as far as, you know, having a better heating and air conditioning system for students, that's great. I'm definitely for that. Gorham residents will go to the polls and vote on this issue in November. In Gorham, Allison Lapierre, CBS 13 News.